Salute, salute, salute to all my real generals, all my real lines, and all my real men. All my day ones. Y'all already know what it is. Nothing but love. Salute. Definitely hit the comments. Hit the subs. Hit me up on IG. John J748. It's John J748. Let's get into it. Clinton Correctional Facility. Supermax. Everything popping in there. Everybody for themselves in there. The loyalty was minimum. It's real talk. Let's get into it. When I hit Clinton, immediately, the first bro that ended up talking to me, because when you first hit a max, you don't end up automatically going to general pop. First they do, they run your jacket. They see if you got any type of um, <clears throat> enemies in the same facility as you, supposedly. Sometimes they fuck up. They fuck up a lot, but... That's why they keep you on lockdown for like almost like two weeks or something like that. And then they let you out the general pop and you can hit the yard. But while I was still on lockdown for the first two weeks, the first bro that was there that started showing me love was Shorty Brawley. Salute to Shorty Brawley. Official bro. He already knew I was a bro just because of the way I walked into the Mess hall, and I was right over left. He already knew. They didn't even recognize me, actually, until we started talking. Because we already knew each other from adolescence. We was in the same building. But anyway, Shorty Brolic. Shout out to Shorty Brolic. So, Shorty Brolic automatically was like, showing me love. But he wasn't rapping no more. He wasn't fucking with the bros. And he was on long-term long key block. But he was sending me commissary and food upstairs because he was underneath me. You know, he was doing real lying shit. You know, all them stories you hear about, oh, you getting some food or something, and you eat it, and then you take your eye, bro, listen. And I was in the 60s, the 50s. Maybe the motherfucking eighties or seven. That wasn't in my era. <laughs> Motherfuckers doing that. They showing love, but now I do have a crazy story. I'm not gonna talk about where. I guess it's kind of like that, but it's like it's different. And I'll get, I'll touch on that. And that happened in Attica with some dude. He used to always like chilling around young niggas. He used to be trying to line niggas up by cooking for them and all that shit. And I know about the dude, so I'm gonna hit y'all with some shit about that nigga. Sometimes, but anyway, back to Clinton. Now that facility, I mean, it was like no loyalty in there amongst the bros. It was loyalty amongst certain bros that just fucked with certain bros. There wasn't no unity though amongst the entirety of the bros like that. Certain bros are fuck with an outsider. Versus they own in that jail. And I peeped that. I peeped that the first time I hit the yard. So now, the bro Shorty Brawley, he was on, on, on long term key block coming from another spot, I forgot where. And but he was about to come off, but he still had a couple of months to do. I got out to, to the yard before him. He was still on long-term key block, and I was setting him out. Feel me? So he was putting me on a certain shit that he was hearing because bros knew about Shorty Brody because they was ringing bells. Motherfuckers were starting to hear about me because I had put some work in, you know what I mean, on the island too. So... But now, when I first hit the yard, it's when I realized that it didn't take me long. 
to realize that it was a big divide in that yard. Now, it wasn't that same, that lion pride that I, that I was feeling before in other castles. Even at Attica, we kind of felt that little divide too, but it wasn't like in Clinton, and Clinton it was worse. And then, you know, to add to that, my mind was like my first day in the yard. I'm getting introduced to all the bros is there. You know what I mean? Bandy at the time was the big bro. You know, he had he he was doing him. Then you had um King Papo. You had King Tone, King Indio, King Rambo. Um, it was a lot of King Green Eyes. And I could keep on going on and on when as I continue talking some more. Names may pop in to my head. So, as I'm in that yard, realizing the divide, certain bros is like fucking with rain hunters more than their own bros. And I'm, I'm, I'm already peeping it like the way just how they talk and then body movements. Because by this time, I'm already like a, like I'm like a baby vet. I'm still in my 20s. But I've already been, been through a lot now. I mean, I'm still in my mid-20s. But I already done, I done did a lot already now, you feel me? So my mindset is a little bit different. I'm understanding shit now a little bit better. So I'm seeing this shit. And then come to find out, there's two bros there. There's Bad Boy. And one of those bros is supposed to get shot. Automatically, that shit just gave me bad vibes. Because every spot where I was at, I was always against any type unless... That bro automatically did some crazy shit. Unless it was absolutely necessary. You're preventing something big from happening. You're thinking bigger rather than smaller. This was just making dudes convert. So this is just pain on pain. Now it's like, you know what I mean? Get down, lay down shit. And I get that. But not when it comes to the ones that were putting in that pain. Whether you know them or not. Feel me? And not when you bleed black and gold like the way I bleed black and gold. And that's how I was feeling. You know, during that time, I was like, you my brother. And then I, I don't give a fuck if you was BBK, LKG, Black Mob. You was rapping King. And you was playing in that, that black and gold flag. And you was putting in that pain, you was getting that money, you was taking care of your cubs, you was came taking care of your castle, you was playing chess, not checkers. Nah. You was you was one of mine, you was a bro. So I was against that shit. So off the rip, I let that be known. But they have a whole structure. For me. I just got there. I just came out the box. And I'm on, and, I, and that was my first max. I think I came out of Lakeview Box, and that was my first max coming from Lakeview Box. It was Clinton after I left Wyoming. So it was Attica. It's Wyoming. It's the box. Lakeview Box. And then it's Clinton. So now I'm in Clinton. And while I'm in Clinton... This is what's transpiring. So, automatically, I peeped that, you know, the bro that was running the castle with one of the bros that was in the structure, he was an old head and he was doing a crazy, crazy time, right? Like, I'm talking about. God bless him. You feel me? I'm talking about King Bandy. And he was really letting his third run shit. Now, his third was a loose cannon. So, and his third, I ain't going to mention his name because come to find out, he was ending up locked up for some crazy shit. 
So I don't want femme people, but he was he was basically a dirty motherfucker. But at the time, Molly knew this shit. You know what I'm saying? So at the time, he was running shit and he was a sick motherfucker. He don't put he, he don't put work in too. He had a little name for himself. And but he was a sick, he was quicker to to have bros put work in on bros versus us trying to unify and get stronger. You know what I mean? And and, and, and and keep the right ones right and teach the ones that don't know. <clears throat> how to move a little better. Learn how to put certain bros in certain lanes. Sometimes every bro is not a shooter. That's a fact. Not every line is a real, like a line that's going to just be a straight line. Some of them, you know what I mean? Their hearts just ain't, ain't as big. You got to be able to recognize that. You got to be able to see that. And when you see that, you know where to place them at, how to move with them. You know what I mean? How to try to mold them. And at the same time, how to try to keep the peace and keep eating. Don't lose face. And he wasn't doing that. He was more on some like, yo, fuck that. Y'all niggas gonna turn bloodline when y'all get shot. I was against that shit. So they were supposed to get shot that day in the yard. Nothing that happened that day in the yard. They called every other bro out. We was all supposed to come out to the yard the next day. And I was like, fuck that. I ain't going to the yard. I was like, I refuse to go to the yard. And, and, and. I'm going to see these niggas, right? These bros. That's, that's, that just because they bad boy kings, they about to get shot and niggas is getting locked up. I understand. I've been put in positions where I had to some had to do something similar to that. But the way they was doing it, it was just, y'all just wanted to convert them. Instead of talking to them differently, it was, way, it was different ways of getting to an understanding versus just automatically ultimatum. Let's go. You not, you not, that wasn't, I wasn't feeling that. So, I didn't want to put myself in a position where I probably would have ended up popping with the other bros that was getting shot because I don't like seeing shit like that. Not, 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 and then it was young too. So, at the end of the day, what happened was, I didn't come out to the yard. The bros were showing how grimy they was. The bros ended up Moving on one of the on one of the bad boys. Check this shit out though. So one of the bad boy kings was trying to talk to the other bad boy king into converting. He's like, "Yo, fuck it, let's just turn back. Let's look bloodline. Let's just go bloodline." Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The other one's like, "Nah, fuck that." He was on his twenty one gun salute shit. And but the other bad boy king was like ready to like just fall back. And then. What happens is the other bad boy king that was going to convert goes back to the other lines and they're like, yo, he ain't uh-uh. So they tried to make him put the work in. He didn't. So another bro went and put the work in on the other bro, the other bad boy. And when he got shot and they did that to him, the other bro that was bad boy also, the one that refused now, because now they used it as a refusal to put the work in on the bro, because now they tried to use him. They tried to kill two birds with one stone. Y'all already know how it is. They had one that was ready to convert. The other one wasn't trying to get the convert. So they tried to use the one to convert to put the work in on the one that was against it. The minute he refused to do that, they was like, all right, we got this. They put the work in on that bro that wasn't with it. You know what I mean? They ended up shooting him that day. And then that week... They ended up putting the work in on the one that said that was going to convert now. He was going to be bloodline. He was going to go by whatever it was that, you know, the structure was saying and the bros were saying in that castle. They ended up putting the work in on him now also. So he ended up doing all that for nothing. They were both ended up getting cut and they did them dirty. They did both of them dirty. Like they did them, they did them like with some real, they gave them some nice work. You know what I mean? All due respect, disrespect, however it sound, they got, they cut them bad, bro. And I'm like, yo, I, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yo, I hope y'all keep that same energy when these other motherfuckers cross that line. You know what I'm saying? Keep that same energy and, and um, keep it a buck. Hold on, one minute, two minutes.
the four twins. Because at the end of the day, that shit had me bothered, bro. So, the bro, um, Shorty Brolic, he's still on Keep Lock doing all of this. I'm, I'm telling him what's going on. Like, we're going back. I'm like, yo, bro, like, uh uh. And because he's right underneath me. And my cell is like right on top of his. So I'm like, yo, I'm not feeling this shit. I'm not, I'm not. And he was like, he was talking, talking to me like, yo, he don't even feel like, he was kind of like, I don't want to say influencing me, but kicking knowledge. And at the end of the day, then I went to the yard now. He told me too. I was already new though. I knew the bros was moving funny style. They was on some, 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 some grimy shit. Some they was they was oppressing their own. For me, they was oppressing their own. Now there's two sides to Clinton, right? I forgot how we call it. Either side, side. It's two sides though. You know what I mean, west side, east side, whatever side was on the other, upper side. Cause the other side is like where eight. Um, it's like certain dorms come out at certain times. And that's how they separate the sides. It's all the same yard, but they only let one side out at a time. My side that I'm talking about, you grab me as fuck. So now, when I come to the yard, the issue now is me. Why? Because the bro Chulo did not come to the yard. In the eyes of certain people, that could be me be looked at as a as a show of cowardness, as a show of like, you know, I ain't got no heart. I ain't trying to like part. I'm making excuses. You know what I'm saying to not, you know, have to possibly maybe put work in or something like that. But you know, my my, my shit was just that I just was against it. Period. So I already know. The mindset that I got to have now. Dealing with my own bros. And I'm like, all right, this is how I, I, I got it. I, I got to look at my own bros, my own lines. Like the enemy. I got to look at them. Like they the enemy. Like they some blood. Or some... Crips or somebody I got beef with. They 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 niggas that's in the house, that's running the house that I'm under. And all these they and they all out for their own now. There was bros that I knew that was on the other side, right? And I didn't get to meet yet. Cause all of this kind of like this is all gradually happened just within the first couple of weeks, month, and I'm saying that I'm dead. So now when I come out to this yard. I'm the focal point. Again, another bro. You know what I'm saying? Not nobody else. They possibly owe some money <laughs> or anything. It's me. And these dudes, they're doing life. A lot of these motherfuckers is doing life in jail. So, me being aware of what's going on and how to handle this shit, when I went outside, I talked to who I had to talk to. And I'm like, yo, I let them know off the rip. I'm like, yo, listen. I ain't come out. And I did send word to people like why I'm like, yo, listen, I'm just not with it, basically. I'm not, I can't participate in this shit. You know what I mean? And I came out, kept the same energy. I wasn't with it. I couldn't be around, seeing some shit like that. I just got here. You know what I mean? Them bros, while I was there, before they got hit, they was letting them be around us like bros. And they was trying to actually, like, some of them was like, so they was trying to talk. It was from the Bronx. Like, I'm like, I don't remember if I was like, I don't think I was with any of them in the house. But still, it was like, and then I'm, I'm like, they knew people I knew. And it was like, I just, it, I don't like shit like that. And then I'm like, we got to act like snakes. You know what I mean? And I, I get that to an extent, but not the way that they was doing it. Not, in that, not for that reason. Not just to make a motherfucker say that they bloodline. Nah, there's a way to go around that. We got to unify. You feel me? So now, I'm under the microscope. Yo, so what up? Where you come from? Everybody seen this paperwork? Yo, wh where you come from, bro? What's your name? Niggas G-Chain. <laughs> so, it's the process. 
but I'm ready for it. So I handle my shit. I say who I am, where I'm from. My paperwork already done been out there. Everybody gets their transcripts. That's just, you got to have that. There's no excuse for you not to have your fucking paperwork. You're going to have your paperwork. You have to pull it. You have to show people. That's why I was weird when motherfuckers found out that the fucking head out of everybody that was there at the time, like, months later, was locked up for some crazy shit. But anyway, need to hear there. Everybody get paperwork. When you're doing bids, you keep your tickets also for whatever, you know what I mean, fight you get into, cutting you get have, contraband you get caught with, whatever your ticket is, whatever it is that you go to the box for, you keep all of those tickets. Those are your receipts. I got shitload of receipts. I got receipts coming from the island. Like, I got movies. We used to call them shit movies back in the day. As ignorant as it sounds, that's what it was. It was like, we used to be proud of this shit. Like, yo, look at this shit right here. Read this shit. This shit is official. Like, this is real talk, mama. We used to, I used to be, I don't got none of that shit no more. I done, like, I, I was giving away pictures of bitches I was fucking with when I, like, I left everything in jail when I left jail, bro. 100% facts. But when I was in there, it was a different mindset. So, we're going through all of this. So, he's like, yo, so why you ain't come to the yard? I, mean, I ain't come to the yard because I, I, I wasn't feeling the, I wasn't feeling the vibe. What you mean you wasn't feeling the vibe? Like, you know, they checking me. I'm like, and I'm like, I wasn't feeling the vibe. I wasn't feeling how I'm over here. I just got here. And automatically, I got to see two bros or bros is about to get cut just because they bad boy. I fuck with bad boys before. I fuck with LKG. I mean, I fuck with, I, I, I say what I say. They put me on probation. <laughs> <clears throat> right so that was my disciplinary the disciplinary actions they took upon themselves was to put me on probation now I ain't gonna get into all the particulars of what comes along when you're on probation for those that don't know it's just like you basically get stripped from being like a regular king lion to now you just like a June June now I mean you just like a uh, act, you're not you, you just you back to the basics you know you're just a cub again you have no stripes they all stripped from you it doesn't matter if you was a fucking six star or five star general now i'm under that you know what I me mean? you can't even salute me nobody can say i'm the rey adr to me no more you know what i'm saying can't throw up the crown no more shit like that so i laughed at that shit I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I laughed at that shit. Niggas like, yo, you on probation to further notice type shit. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fine. You know what I'm saying? So they think, like, to see, like, if, if anything else is going to, you know what I mean, have to, like, take place and we're going to have to have another 360 and, and, and powwow and find out what's going on. I'm like, all right. So, all of that, the bros ended up hearing about me. People started vouching for me. Because I keep it 100 with y'all. Like, they, we, do, they, we do investigations. We reach out to people, man. So, they, 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 we, got, we got lines with people. They send out kites. We do keep in tune, tune, tune with who's who. Verify what the fuck you say. Know what I'm saying? So, while they put me on probation, I basically just distanced myself from them bros. Because none of them was really showing me no type of, like, real line love. Because I ain't know none of them motherfuckers. So, it was niggas there, though, that I was fucking with. Right? But they wasn't kings. But it was niggas there that I knew. Like, my son Green Eyes. My nigga Benny Boone. Um... My nigga Chop. Like it was it was it was those that was dead that I was already fucking with. My nigga Death. Oh, um, shout out to Death. My nigga C Thor, my nigga Chris. Like it was mad dudes, JR. You know what I mean? It was mad dudes that I started fucking that was just but the loyalty amongst the kings themselves was just like before I got there, it was already gone. You know what I'm saying? It was like so fractured and fucked up. It was like because we was putting focused on ourselves more than and then, you know, a lot of the ones that was on the top was all, unfortunately, addicts. You 
There was dope things. There was tecatos. There was chasing the bag. You know what I'm saying? The, and, and, and that's when you seen where their loyalties landed at. The loyalty was in the bag. And that is something that I learned early also. So, on that note, I'm going to leave y'all twins. Keep it light. You know what I'm saying? But it just goes to show, like, you can't trust nobody. God forbid you have to ever have to be in that position again or, or put yourself in a position where you in the maximum secure correctional facility, you gang banging or not. Your people move different. There's no loyalty amongst motherfuckers. And you shouldn't trust nobody. You stay to yourself as humble as you possibly can. Be quiet. Observe your surroundings. I mean, see who's who. Don't try to just befriend anybody. You know, be observant of your surroundings, though. You're going to be able to see who's the loud ones, who's the quiet ones, who's the flamboyant ones. You know, you're going to be able to even see the ones that's the quiet ones. There's, there's, there's more quieter than the quiet ones. You're going to be able to see all of that as long as you observe and you watch. I mean, and you never, ever, ever, ever show a sign of weakness. Ever. Can't show no sign of weakness. I'm not saying to be fake. Be who you are. But if you show a sign of weakness, beware that you're going to be bringing shit upon yourself. That's why you stay yourself the fuck out of prison. Like I have. For the last motherfucking decade and some change. Salute to all my giants. Salute to all my generals, all my kings, all my real ones. Y'all already know what it is. King Chula on deck. I got y'all with some more pain tomorrow. One.